Hey guys, this is Dana with Engadget. I'm here with the Kobo Arc. This is Kobo's second tablet. It's built from the ground up. It is really nothing like the Vox that came out last year. And what we have here is a 7-inch tablet. It's a 1280 by 800 screen, and it's built on Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. But you can see here that this is definitely a skinned version of Android. This is actually the home screen here, and you'll see it's split into two parts. So up here, you have what are called tapestries. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you. And you'll see that they're organized by interests and also just activities. So you can have reading, entertainment, social networking. You can have specialized interests like cars, cooking. And if you go in, you'll see here, actually I'd rather show you one of the special interest ones, so I'm going to go to cars. You'll see there that it's really this collection of different kinds of media. So it won't just be books or reading material, even though Kobo's roots are in e-readers. Um, you'll also find websites, you'll find apps and, you know, games potentially, if that's what you're interested in. And this is sort of where the bottom of the screen comes in. You'll ha you have this discover bar here, which dynamically updates based on what you're interested in, interested in. It will update over time as your interests change. And Kobo says that it's uh, pulls from a variety of services, whether it's YouTube or Wikipedia, and it uses metadata on all of these sites, whether it's tags or anything else, to understand what it is you're interested in. Also text. So for instance, if you're reading a book about HP and um, you know a certain executive is mentioned over and over again, um, Kobo will understand that that's a relevant person right now to your interests. So you'll see it's, it is sort of like a Pinterest approach here even in the sense that if you tap something you have the opportunity to pin it so there is that pinning language there or you can say not interested so what we're looking at here is actually a beta product but when the final version hits in mid-November these should be refreshing maybe every three minutes so it's, it's um, a pretty quick refresh and a pretty quick refresh of content that should be interesting to you I'm going to go back here. You'll see that certain other menus will be a little bit more familiar. So I just tapped to open the app drawer here, and this is much more like traditional Android here. Um, you know, pretty self-explanatory, and this is also as perfect a time as any to explain that although this is a skin version of Android, this is Google certified. So you do have access to all the apps you could possibly want on Android. And you can see here as I'm swiping through, the transitions are pretty fast. There is a 1.5 gigahertz Freescale processor inside. I'm sorry, it's not Freescale, it's uh, Texas Instruments. Excuse me there. And um, it's, you can see, see it's, it's pretty fast. I've been happy so far in playing with it, with the speeds and all of that. Because the product is still in development and it's not out yet, we don't have that firm rating on battery life, but right now Kobo is saying somewhere between 20, 10 and 12 hours with um, a video playback, and that's with medium brightness. And um, so that, that's a fairly big window, but hopefully we'll have a, more of a narrow estimate by the time we review this. And either way, that, that sounds pretty impressive. So what we're going to do here is just going to give you a quick tour of the hardware. So if I flip this over here, you've already seen plenty of this 7-inch screen. I was just using it outside, and it's, it's still viewable outdoors, even in sunlight. And if I flip it over here, this is much of the same design language that you'll find on any Kobo e-reader, which is to say it has this soft touch back here, which is removable, by the way. There will be separate um, colorful removable backs that you can put on if you want to personalize it. So the soft touch is key. That's It's a pretty signature Kobo thing at this point. Same for these lines that crisscross the back. That's also some um, classic Kobo design language by now. And if you take a tour around the device, you'll see that it, it's pretty minimal in terms of the trappings here. This is a blank edge over here and if you can look on this side you will find the volume rocker and this might actually be a good time and that's the um, headphone jack. This might be a good time to say that there are front-facing speakers on the tablet enhanced by SRS True Media Sound and um, that's a good thing just because so often we put our tablets on you know a bed or a table and it's, it really stinks if the speakers are on the back and the sound gets muffled so here at least they're forward facing so the sound doesn't get buried continuing our tour up here so I don't know if you guys can see that you've got just that typical power button that you would expect to find there and no rear camera as you can see 
but you do have a webcam up front for video chatting if that's what you're into. So this is not arriving until mid-November, but when it arrives, it will start at 199 for 16 gigabytes, and it's going to go up to 300 for a 64 gigabyte version. And there will be a 32 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte model um, slotted in there as well. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.